welcome to the Click Kids channel. I am Sarah Scrubs and I have a lovely Traveler's Notebook video for you today. So these photos are from my recent trip to Creativation and one of the big trends that you've probably seen around are llamas and I have a soft spot for them. I love llamas. I think they're wonderful. They're so fun and cute and fluffy. And So while I was at Creativation I took lots of photos of um, different products that had llamas in them and I have collaged together four of my very favorites and I'm going to use these four photos to document all the llamas I saw at Creativation. So the Traveler's Notebook that I'm using for this particular uh, documentation project is from the St Stamp Spot which is an Australian store and I am using elements from both the main kit and the Traveler's Notebook kit as well as the puffy sticker add-ons that you can see off to the left there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I decided that um, I'm going to keep one of the sides of these pages white but the other side I want to make I want to use this super pretty pattern paper and that's because this particular Traveler's Notebook has a pocket page in it. So um, it's like a white piece of paper that you can scrapbook on and then a pocket page. So for the pocket page, I'm going to cut down and use this sheet of uh, pattern paper from the main kit. So I decided that I wanted to put a pattern behind each of my four photos to enhance them and to have them pop a little bit off the page. And I chose this little scrap of paper that from one of my other design team projects and I'm just going to go ahead and mat all of my photos with that fun stripey paper. So I decided I want to make almost like a wonky line across the top of my page of all of my different photos and then I'm also going to go ahead and ink everything up with some vintage photo distress ink which is my favorite distress ink and it kind of shows up on almost every layout and if it's not that one it's hickory spoke. So before I uh, get started here, I pulled this die cut out because I thought it would be a really nice element to add to my page. And I am going to end up using it, but I'm going to end up using it on the other side. And I really, really wanted to use that llama. And it took me a little bit to decide on placement where he would um, kind of stand out. But I love how it turned out with him kind of looking over the rest of these particular photos. I also want to make sure that he faced into my spread and not like out into space somewhere. So my title is going to be Llama Love and I'm going to start at one end and then pull everything up and start from the other end. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and finish up my title here and it's going to be Llama Love uh, and I'm going to start to embellish. So I know that I want this right side to be a little bit busier and a little more heavily embellished than the... Wait, that's wrong. This is the left side, and I want the left side to be a little more embellished than the right side. So I'm going to grab this scrap of paper that's left over from another project, and I'm going to cut all of these um, little houses. I think I end up using four of them in total just across the top of the page. And then I'm going to go ahead and flick through all of these die cuts, and I'm going to pick a couple to add there. So this little yellow um, piece, I'm just going to use it as a layering piece for underneath. And then I'm going to grab this other die cut. So this bright pink purple die cut says 24-7-365. So the full title of my layout is Llama Love 24-7-365. Which, if you follow me anywhere else on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, you know that that is truly true. I love them. They're so cute and so fluffy and it's fabulous and adorable. Um, my husband even jokes and teases me for my love of llamas. They are a trend that, for me, can stick around forever. I'm totally, totally cool with it. So I'm just going to trim off the ends here and then I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. So I want a little bit more. I want something at the top and at the bottom of my page to kind of ground it. And then I also want a little something beside the word llama. So I'm going to start with that top and bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the washi tape from the main kit and I'm going to tear it. And I'm going to add some torn washi both to the top and to the bottom of my layout. And then for that space next to the L right there, I'm just going to grab my Creative Memories punch from my stash 
and I'm going to use it to punch kind of hearts that nestle into each other. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink those up and put them under the L. And then the last little thing you're going to see me do is to grab my tiny attacher and add some tiny staples. So if you are interested in this fabulous February kit, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of it because I'd probably like to really mess it up. Um, you can uh, check below for links. I will link everything that's still available in the shop. And you can use my code, Sarah Scraps, all capital letters, all one word, for a code to use in the store. Um, and yeah, I'll link the main kit up. I will link the Traveler's Notebook kit up. And I will link the puffy stickers if they're still available in the shop. So I hope that you will take a peek over at the store and check those project products out because they're super fun. I love this Crepe Papers Good Vibes collection. I just love it. So for the right side, I wanted to keep things a little bit simpler uh, because I know that that left side is quite busy, but it's me. I I can't do anything. I love the look of clean and simple. I'm totally that person. I follow all the girls on YouTube. I love the ones that do like white space and like three things in a photo and it's gorgeous and stunning and oh my gosh, that's not me. I so wish it was though, maybe someday. Um, anyway, there's definitely a trick to it. And whatever that trick is, I ain't got it. Um, so, but for me, I, this is clean and simple, this right side. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and add um, some more strips of torn washi. And that's going to keep it kind of con the continuity across the entire layout. Along with, you know, like the houses and, and using the same uh, line of products across both pages. And I do think that the white on the other side does kind of give your eye a break. It definitely gives your eye somewhere to rest. It's um, a little bit of just brightness, whereas the other side of the pages is very, very, um, a little bit busier. And so I'm just going to go ahead and ink up all of these different elements that I've decided I'm going to use and get them stuck to my layout. And so the last little thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use that little off cut from the yellow and I'm going to use another one of these little tear apart words and I'm going to start to stick it down and then realize I should staple them to add that stapled element and bring that stapled element um, from one side of the page to the other. The same with that little tick ticket that I used and the off cut from the orange die or from the yellow die cut to give everything that nice continuous spread across both the pages. And that's pretty much going to finish this layout. I'm just kind of showing you how this all fits in together. Be sure to check out this fabulous kit because for February because it's so fun and so cute. The last little thing I'm going to do, so this is not anything you can get in the Click Kit store. This is just, um, these are tabs. Kiwi Lane sells them and you can put them above pocket pages so that your pockets, uh, your pages don't fall out of your pockets and I find them incredibly useful. So that will complete this layout today. Be sure to check out all the links below and don't forget my code Sarah Scraps to get a discount on your next order. Here are some close-ups. Have a fabulous day and I will see you all again soon. Bye!